Hello guys, what is up? This is Leo. Um, today we are going to show you how um, to create your first project in Streambase. Um, so first, I'm going to use my own laptop. Uh, you can see you have all kinds of, you know, um, strange, strange softwares on here, especially League of Legends. That's my favorite game. So, uh, anyways, let's start Streambase Studio. You should be able to see it on your, um, uh, uh, on your remote desktop. And uh, if you don't have it, then you can download it from Tipco. They offer, um, they offer a trial version for it for 30 days. And uh, we will just be using the trial version um, for this class. But um, in your actual job, you're going to be running on a um, paid version. Uh, I think company use it. There are companies use it, and uh, those companies are... I think includes um, CME, Chicago Merchandise Exchange, um, and some other companies that I can't remember. Anyway, so now uh, when you open it up, you're actually going to see the welcome string, screen, uh, which looks like this. So welcome to a typical stream-based studio uh, 7.6. <clears throat> you might have a different version, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, all we're going to do is... Um, is to run through the tutorials, uh, but because I already know what tutorials are, are going to be, I'm going to click on Workbench. So in the Workbench, you're going to see SB Demos. Uh, in here, you can choose what demo you want to run. Uh, it has many different demos. Um, but uh, for now, we're going to create our new project. So click on File, New, uh, Stream-based Project. And then the project name is going to be First App. Okay, and then it says maintain project settings in server configuration, enable support. We don't really need that. Um, <clears throat> we don't really need the client API or anything like that. Uh, okay, and then next. And then we don't really need to reference any of the demos. Therefore, we're going to click finish. Okay, and then it says open associate uh, perspective, which is SB authoring. We click on... Uh, Remember my decision, and then yes. So now uh, we're at the actual um, canvas. They call it this one a canvas. So the string space first app has been created. I just click OK because uh, we know that <coughs> it's it, it has created configurations. Just click OK. Now um, you're going to see these many uh, things, but we don't really care. Uh, so remember, Streambase is a stream um, stream analyzing and uh, um, engineering uh, platform. So uh, for our purpose, we're going to have an input stream. All right, so the input stream is going to be trades in. Uh, in here, you can specify the name. Of course, you can double click on it. And then in here, in general tab, you can specify the name over here. OK? And, uh, uh, we're going to edit the schema. So the first schema is symbol representing the company, and it's going to be a string. And the second uh, field is going to be uh, quantity, which is an integer. All right, integer that uh, describes um, how many items uh, are going to be input. Cool. And uh, just to show a uh, demo on filter, I'm going to create a filter, all right? And then the filter is going to be trades filter. Uh, <clears throat> so the filter has a predicate setting. Uh, the output port is this one, all right? And then the predicate true, meaning all of the inputs, if connected, are going to be outputted by the same thing. But in here, <clears throat> uh, we're going to uh, say quantity greater or equal to 10,000 just to com you know to comply with your um, tutorial and then we save it of course we're going to create an output output port for non matching to tuples because everything greater or equal to 10,000 are going to be big trades and then everything else are going to be smaller trades um, and uh, we can simply connect this one to here um, and it's up all right of course type check errors doesn't show anything uh, but we're going to add <clears throat> a output stream um, just for those two different 
outputs. So we have small trays and we have big trays. Of course, you can you know, double click on it and then general small trays and double click on it and then general big trays. All right, and now let me um, click on those. And you can see the schema can uh, the schema actually gets automatically created after I drag and drop the lines. So this is going to be your first um, stream-based application. Uh, congratulations. To run it, you just click on Run. And then this kind of is associated with SB, te SB testing and debug. Just click Yes. That's fine. <coughs> and now it says something, something. Run, do not support benchmarking or uh, other high data rates. That's fine. But what we actually want to do is to test if our um, our build is working. So symbol IBM, and then the quantity is going to be 20,000. So if I send this data in, I am expecting it to output a big trace. And let's see. Oh, somehow it says 20,000 is small trace. Um, what I did wrong was that uh, the first output port was linked to small trades, and the second output was linked to big trades. Uh, actually, it should be reversed. <coughs> so what are we going to do? We're just going to edit it over here. All right. So uh, we're going to name this one actually big trades, and then we're going to name this one small trades. Sounds good. Um, ignore because I need to make this correct. Save it, Control S is saving. This, this whole thing looks like uh, Eclipse. Um, so I'm guessing that they um, somehow modified Eclipse so it can show a, um, a nice visual. Um, all right, so now let's send the data again. And now it says big trades, 20,000. OK, so this is how you um, create the first app. And then in the next video, I'm going to talk about how to create your feed simulations. Right now, all of the inputs are manual input. And then the stream are going to be just tracing. And then the next video, I'm going to talk about how to actually create the feed simulation. All right, hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. And uh, see you next video.